of those days, it's like a 24 hour period where it's a lot of little things that just keep piling up and none of them are life threatening, life changing. No, none of that. They're all first world problems. They're just really annoying first world problems. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish and I want. What's up everybody? It's your girl TJ back with another video. Talks with TJ, aka TJ Two Suits Change, and don't freak out, okay? Nothing happened to my hair. This is actually what I choose to do on the days where I'm not gonna take it down. Because if you don't know, I wrap my hair, and for those who don't know what it means for a uh, black woman to wrap her hair, is literally wrapped in like a cone, essentially, and then it's tied down with a satin scarf, and it protects it and helps the longevity of that style. All right, this is just a little cultural lesson for you. But if I am choosing to not actually wear my hair down for the day, uh, maybe I don't have like picks to do or there's just not a reason for me to have my hair like down and going out or something then yeah I may keep it wrapped up for the entire day and throw on one of my favorite love your melon slouchy beanies and keep it moving now unfortunately I think this style sold out like a while back like a few years ago when I picked mine up sorry but yeah this is uh this is another one of my fall looks quite a bit so What's going on? You get to meet like different side of TJ and I take it a new manicure. But thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you're brand new here, go ahead and subscribe if you like what you see. These are not my typical videos or this one today. All right, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go and touch on the little things that have happened in the last like 24 hours. Again, nothing is like pressing. Uh, life is fine. Life is great for me, okay? It's just these little things that have occurred. So, this is how it's going. Now, I think you're seeing this on a Friday, which means I'm filming this probably on a Wednesday. In the throes of it all. Some things are still left uh, up in the air. I don't really know what's going on. But, let's start with the one where I was just, I was definitely, like, surprised. So, again, I'm trying to somewhat, you know, get into, like, the minimal type dress i don't mean like the brand i mean like in terms of shirts like sometimes i just want more basic shirts that don't have tons of graphics all on it and so nike actually offers that now they have um just some basic nike shirts and they actually have like this even in the product description it says a little bit of an elevated look with the nike buy you tag that is on there okay so hopefully you guys can see that it says nike buy you designed for sport crafted for life i like that it's, it's basic it's simple you know twenty dollars depending on what's going on you may be able to find them on sale for 15 like the women's gray one is on sale for 15 they're just limited in sizes they have available so i said okay i'll get the men's small layer under some hoodies have the little tag show and then i'll get the women's white and i can layer that under jackets or you know flannels whatever okay that was my thought process got my you know ordered it arrived today I opened the packages and one is not like the other even though they should be so the gray one has that tag white one doesn't have that tag and that i was just like wow okay so no is it a huge thing it's not but what i can liken it to you know how some of you complain when sneakers don't have the hang tags there you go that's my complaint it's a very small subtle detail but it was the detail that i actually somewhat cared about on the shirt so i went ahead i was like hey i'll just do an exchange now typically i have amazing experiences with the nike experts they are quick they are on it they get right back to you and within like minutes my my issue is resolved and i've got a return or an exchange process literally within like five or ten minutes i think i'm really spoiled in those experiences because today it was like a 45 minute wait when i first hit them up like hey uh, i need an expert right and you do it via chat in the app and so I'm like, man, 45 minutes. All right, so I had a work conference meeting I had to hop on. So I'm on that. They get back to me. I simply didn't see it. So five minutes later, I return. And they're like, well, I got to step away to go on break. Somebody else will handle it. But just make sure you stay by your phone. And I'm just like, get on break. You weren't here for 45 minutes. What do you mean go on break? <sighs> and then someone else finally did step in. But then it took them another like 30 minutes to get back. And I'm just like, listen. Let me go ahead and handle this myself, okay? I will process the return, order a new one. I'm just going to order it actually in a small one. Let's just hope that that tag is on the shirt. So that's what uh, that's what went down. That's what happened. 
That does feel like Trouble in Paradise, because Nike and I have such a great relationship. Uh, but you know, I'm still riding with Swoosh, so I need to take that up to UPS today and send it off. All right, so second thing. Remember, I said, hey, I have a new Richie Lee hoodie on the way. Well, it's not new. It's like back from 2017 or 2018. I know a lot of people will say it's like played out now because it's the half zipper hoodie. Listen, I still wanted it and still like it. And I had my mind to pair it with those friends and family over there. Can I do that? I cannot, not at the moment, because at 2.34 yesterday, I got a notification because I have informed Digest by USPS that they delivered my hoodie. Awesome. I go downstairs. There is something in my mailbox, but it wasn't that. And it said they left in the parcel locker. Well, typically there's a key that they will leave in your mailbox. You can open the parcel locker and grab said package and go on with your day. And no, so apparently they put the key in the wrong mailbox. Now here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. Apparently uh, the person has zero morals or ethics because they took the package out of the parcel and just chose not to come leave it like at my door or leave it in the mail area or leave it at the lease office. None of that. None of that was done, right? None of that. So... Uh, the post office said, hey, you know, I think we did talk to the carrier. She believes she might have placed it in the wrong box and she's going to try to retrieve it. Here's the thing. How are you retrieving it now? Because if it was in this building where you were supposed to have dropped it off, that person took it. So now I'm on the lookout for somebody in a Richie Lee hoodie because I am not afraid to have that confrontation with you. Hey, that's an amazing hoodie. Yeah, where'd you get that? Where'd you get it? Did it happen to arrive on October 10th? Hmm? Or 20th, you know I can't get my date start. October 20th, hmm? I am okay having that conversation with somebody. Like, just the principle of the fact, don't steal. Like, that's the lowest thing you can be. It's like a thief. That's just, like, ew. So, yeah, I, I would have a hoodie to show you, but not right now, because the person stole it. So, the post office is working to somehow get it back to me. If not, I know it's going to be this long, drawn-out process for me to get my $40 back. It's not the $40, just the principle of the fact the hoodie is sold out. I found it on eBay for an amazing price. So, yeah, just chalk that up to a loss. And then, Ikea, remember my uh, my shelves. So, first off, I forgot Ikea's really high shipping rate. So, it was going to be $129 to get the units shipped, or just the one shipped here. Okay, I was going to stomach that. But then it's, uh, now they can't deliver it because there are so few available for delivery. Now I can't deliver it. And I'm not having somebody drive down to Indy and like drive back to be able to give those for me. So I found, uh, another place that I will get them. And instead of getting, uh, the unit that I originally was going to get that I think measured like 63 inches wide. Now I'm going to end up putting three of them together and it's actually going to be 75 five inches wide so hey i'm actually gonna get a little bit of space it's just gonna take up like wall to wall of my closet not mad about that probably get a little bit more space in terms of my shoes and i'll be able to stack boxes on top of them so all in all i think everything will work out but if i i swear if it was just one little thing after the next but i'm all right i'm living good just want to tell you guys that so thanks for tuning in hopefully you didn't have as little many mishaps as i did this week all right as always, extra age, not your shoe size. Peace out.